So I'm gonna give you some tips on how I grew my social media account and I'm just so amazed on how consistency worked. But on YouTube, it's a little battle. I'm still struggling to get over that that little hump, you know what I mean? But on my other platforms, as in TikTok and Instagram, my channel has been growing and I'm just, I'm very proud of myself. I know I can do a little bit more and a lot of people say I'm not doing enough. Nail done, hair done, everything big and my NY girls, let me see your hands, wave them at them bitches. But still, I wanna show you guys what I did to grow my account. And I'm just so amazed. Like on Instagram right now, I have about 80,000 followers. That's crazy. And on TikTok, I have about 20, 25,000. And of course on YouTube, I'm not, I'm still stagnant. But I'm just gonna show you guys what I did to grow my Instagram. I know a lot of people don't use Instagram anymore, but Instagram and TikTok are my favorite platforms. Actually Instagram first and then TikTok. Those are my favorite platforms to post on. And also, I use my social media for of course entertainment to grow me and my mom's business and just I like to do it if I didn't like to do it I wouldn't be doing it as long as I have doing it. this is <laughs> this table I'm in class if you guys don't know I'm in grad school this table I'm gonna try to stop using it but whatever okay <laughs> there with me so my first tip is of course to post I know everyone says that every video they do they say you have to post you have to find your niche and all that I don't have a niche neither well I don't have one niche, I have multiple. We'll talk about that in a minute. So basically you need to post. I don't think you should post like, I don't know, a lot of people say you have to post like three times a day. Don't do that. Uh, well, if you want to, I don't do it personally. I don't wanna get burnt out. I post what's comfortable and what I can do. You know what I mean? Like, for instance, today I'm in class, right? So I will vlog all day today. The full vlog will be a YouTube vlog, but I'll cut little bits and pieces, and that will be my content that I post on Instagram and on TikTok. Like for instance, when I go get coffee, you guys know, coffee or matcha, that is content. I know a lot of people think it's boring, or if it's my soft girl era, I enjoy it, and I'm posting stuff that I like to do. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> So basically, that's how I'm, I stay consistent. I like to do it and it's just, yeah, I just like to do it. When my camera's gonna die, so I'm trying to rush and do this and utilize all of that that I have left. I don't know why I didn't charge it this morning, but anyway. So I said you need to post, you need to be consistent posting and you don't have to post, you don't have to post three times a day. You can post, how about this is what I do. I do post on my stories every day, about three or five, it depends on my mood, but I post every day on my stories. I enjoy doing that, especially reposting memes. I'll post one picture and then I'll post a reel. And then mind you, whatever I post on Instagram, I'll post the same thing on TikTok. Now, when you do your reels, I feel like that's the fastest way to grow on Instagram. I know I'm, ba I'm, ba I'm bouncing <laughs> to one social media platform or another, but stay with me, stay with me. So, when you post, on a reel i feel like that's the fastest way to grow like i feel like that's how i got majority of my followers from posting on reels and when you post on reel you want to make sure you have a trending sound and use a few hashtags you don't have to use like five or ten you can even do three to five it doesn't matter but at least use hashtags and also try to pitch a location well not the exact location like for instance i'll pit like california sometimes or usa i just do it sometimes just to see if that helps my engagement and also instagram is starting to pay their influencers again i don't know if you guys knew but they stopped paying influencers and then they start doing it to pay 14 dollars a month to have a blue check mark whatever but now they're bringing it back where you don't have i mean you get paid now, I just got into the creative fund for Instagram, so I'm not sure, it's not even called creative fund, <laughs> but I just got into it, so I don't know how the algorithm works, I don't know how the payment works yet, so I'm just trying to post and see how it goes, but I just got approved again for, I just got approved for Instagram, oh my God, Sam, I said I'm on Instagram. Now let's talk about TikTok. TikTok is changing, the requirements all the time 
all the time and i am in their creative fund too but literally you get paid only change but it doesn't really matter because like i said i do enjoy posting and all that good stuff so on tiktok now they want like longer form videos so usually it's like 15 second videos now they they say that you get more engagement when you do one minute now and also usually they like the video horizontal now they want landscape so they really trying to compete with youtube so i do both just in case i don't know what's going on with tiktok but i just do both actually easy to do how i do it i do it on imovie on my macbook i just do it on imovie and then download it i can do a tutorial later on how to do it because obviously people just flipping their whole video Does that makes i have to show you example of what i'm talking about and also what else oh and also they have stories as well i post a few times on the stories and now on tiktok they have been removing popular music so i had a feeling that was gonna happen though i had a feeling so if you can do original sound or you can just do voiceovers that'd be better okay I know this video was all over the place, but I went straight to the point. And of course, I do not have a script. I probably do need a script because like I said, I feel like I'm everywhere. If you have any questions, I can um, I can answer them. Of course, I would love to answer them. But the thing I want you to leave with is to be consistent. Like I said earlier, just be consistent. Post anything. Like get ready with me if you enjoy to do it. You know what I mean? If it's not authentic to you, don't do it. But like stuff that I like, like what I post exactly, like it's morning routines, get ready with me, makeup, entrepreneur life vlogs, me and mom on the business. And you know what I mean? So like literally everything that I do, I will, I will record it. But mind you, it's exposure and all that good stuff. So that's what I mean earlier when I said I don't have a niche. I will. That's not true. When I said I don't have, of course the battery died. <laughs> So, I'm using my backup. <laughs> I'm sorry, fixing that. I'm using my backup battery, and it's this one's about to die too. So it's okay. We're gonna make it work. I'm gonna try to stop moving too. So, like what I said, um, I don't stick to one niche. I do multiple niches. Um, as in, I just literally just post everything in my life. And I suggest everyone does it too. I know a lot of people say it's oversaturated um, social media. It doesn't matter. I don't care. You know what I mean? Like I still, I still post and there there's gonna be someone who likes your content there's gonna be someone who likes you so keep that in the back of your mind and start posting